The Donald Duck? The Donald Duck fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus. Did you like that as much as I did? I can't do Donald Duck. (laughs) If I could do a Donald Duck impression. (laughs) Oh, my God. I would just destroy somebody's sexual life. Oh, yeah. There would be, like, therapy. (laughs) He did the thing, and he made the voice, and... (laughs) My last relationship, (laughs) he kept taking his pants off and asking, are you ready for the Donald Duck? (laughs) Anytime Mickey Mouse comes on, just... (laughs) (laughs) He was always so angry. Uh, Donald Duck is always so mad. What is Donald Duck's problem? What what happened to him that made him so on upset? He's land too much. He's, he's not he's not doing duck stuff. Yeah. He doesn't fly, he doesn't float. Nobody's helping Donald Duck out. <laughs> he, Donald Duck's not helping himself he's out. He's surrounded by morons. <laughs> Is he surrounded by morons, or, yes. yeah. or is he the moron? No. Yeah. Okay. So is Donald Duck constantly getting hunted by Elmer Fudd? No. Was that the original? No. no that's different. That's, that's cross. Yeah. That's DC Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> like, spl- that's forbidden duck talk, right there. <laughs> Another podcast, episode twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. We've already started. Yeah. It's been very interesting so far, Donald Duck. If you'd like to try something new in the in the bedroom, <laughs> you just grab leave a the shirt hat. on. Yeah. Take leave the shirt off, on. Add shirt a sailor on. hat. <laughs> Take everything else off. If you want to do not the Donald have Duck sex voice. afterwards for a while, try it. Yeah. If you want to turn your wife or partner off, yeah, I call it the uh, the, Donald the DDF. <laughs> the DDF. Donald <laughs> Duck fuck. Yeah, that's think- good. I think if YouTube hasn't figured out that we have hidden curse words in our podcast, now they're gonna know. Because it's in the first five minutes. Oh, it's good. It's, it's, it's like eight. The AI yeah, is going to build a little thing like it always does to be like, do yeah. you want to know how to make love like Donald Duck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the AI produces some pretty interesting titles that <laughs> that shouldn't be a title. Yeah. It like whenever just... uh, we were talking about the relationship thing. Yeah. Like if you like being called daddy or not, mm. the titles it was generating. We're, I'm sure they we're, were, not good. <laughs> <laughs> we're not good. We're not good. De- demonetize uh, real quick. Yeah. Which, do you like being called daddy? Uh, I mean, so I was watching it and I was like, not in a sexual way at all. No. Like, <laughs> my kids are like, daddy. And I'm like, yeah, what do you need? But not. Uh, my, like, my wife will be like, daddy, can you get them something? Which right. Which is totally, yeah, totally fine. cool. Yeah. But like. If you bring <laughs> that into the threshold of the yeah. bedroom. Like, daddy, can yeah. I get you something yeah <laughs> well so i mean thinking about it she has done something like that and i was immediately just like all right let's go <laughs> <laughs> so wait i do but like it, it wasn't like a continuous use of daddy mm. it was like uh you gotta keep the you gotta keep those on the back burner yeah on the dl less less is more yeah less is more yeah, it's like a joke you run into the ground, right? right. You can't DDF every time. You can only... <laughs> <laughs> That's a... Every once in a while, you can leave the shirt on. <laughs> every once in a while. Have you ever, uh, you know, been expressing your love physically to your partner and then realized that there's an unequal amount of clothes on? Like, you're too clothed? Like, mm. this isn't fair. Yeah. <laughs> or vice versa. Maybe it is you're just, fair. Maybe you're just naked. You know, a, a, a beautiful woman is a lot a lot more fun to look at naked than, like, you know, the three of us. Right. <laughs> just <laughs> droopy balls. And... Yeah. Actually, just go back to the Donald Duck, please. Put the duck back on. <laughs> is there a way to just do Just don't do the voice just anymore. Pants just only? <laughs> yeah, just give it with... <laughs> <laughs> don't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, I guess that's. I mean, furries. Do they just have like a little hole they open up? And then... okay, that's something that I've always wondered about. It, it, furry community. Since we know you watch our podcast, yeah. If you could please, in the comments, express to us how exactly do you have a flap? Do you have a? Do you have some sort of? Do you just go Donald Duck in it yourself? Yeah. Do you guys just? Uh, do you go full character and like paints? half human, half human, <laughs> half wolf man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a minotaur. <laughs> I'm a minotaur. <laughs> I'm a minotaur from the waist down. My pronouns are rar. <laughs> oh my god. What has this turned into? You had some time. I really want to reach out to, to the about. furry community yeah. watching our podcast. Explain to us how the flap works. 
Um, have you guys? Oh, true story though. The furry communities. I'm glad you brought them up uh-huh. because <laughs> I've been wanting to tell you guys something. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, uh, <laughs> they actually love Miatas. Oh, like it's like a common like crossover of like car culture and furry people. And uh-huh. there's like, a huge split amongst the Miata guys. Cause really? people who like Miatas, there's like the ricer guys who like race them and like have a league and everything. And then there's like the old people, the purists. Yeah. The old people that just took care of their cars from yeah. the nineties. And then there's like, furries like in there <laughs> on the internet they always find a way oh of- <laughs> my god and like they've adopted the miata as their car interesting so it's like uh subarus and lesbians like yeah subarus and lesbians <laughs> miatas and furries yeah. and uh anyways so it's really funny to see the forums it's like yeah i've got a problem with my alternator this is how you think and it's like furry guy oh my <laughs> like, god like being like well i took mine down to the furry convention and blah 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 <laughs> you can Real also fast, get can you some- just tell me if there's a box on my face uh, yes, there is. Okay. Up, oh, up, oh, Donnie, you might have actually ruined I it. Did kind of. You're okay. Good. No, You're good. we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till that comes in the edit. <laughs> oh, okay. So I watched last week's TikTok. You can push not interested. Oh, you can? Yeah. Wow. Where is it? Where's that you button? You have to hold it down on the screen and it pulls up a menu. Oh. Which is not intuitive that's at too all. Quick, no. man. I Listen, figured it out by happened. accident. I was oh. like falling asleep watching TikTok, and then my phone, or my thumb, just stuck on the screen, and then it was like, <laughs> not interested. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so you can curate, like, me and my buddy, Tyler, I talk about him all the time, he has the most insane TikTok al- algorithm ever, and mine's, like, thinks I'm a housewife who's into golf and cars. Mm. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> housewife into golf and yeah. cars. I so, get, like, like, you get kid content, and kid then golf content. and cars. Yeah, mm. and then uh, mm. football, for some reason. I still get a bunch of dad jokes. Yeah, nice. whenever we're doing oh, all good. those dad jokes, which you probably miss the dad jokes, right? I don't. No, not at all. <laughs> not even a little bit, really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm okay with them. Me and dad jokes, we go back to about four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new muscle you're working there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have been working out a lot. Nice. Been oh, nice. Getting jacked at the Planet Fatness. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Cool. And then I weighed myself today. I've actually gained weight. It's probably muscle. <laughs> probably. I, sure. Me and my muscle. wife started a gym and like we do these classes together. Yeah. And there's so many squats in it. And like, so mm-hmm. I went and got a physical and they like measured my legs. They're like, your legs have gotten bigger, but you're skinnier. I was like, yeah, I've done. They're like, have you been doing a lot of squats? I was like, nonstop. I, my legs constantly hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest muscle group? So it makes sense yeah. that you would like get the most benefit out of working those. Can't skip leg day. Yeah. No, my workout routine has been going, and th- this thing at Planet Fitness, <laughs> the 30-minute workout room that no one pays attention to the rules of. Yeah. You're supposed to do 30 seconds on a machine, get off, switch machines, do 30 seconds, get off, and, and do that. So you're going into this room trying to abide by the rules, and everyone else is just oh kind of like... Oh, my God. It's just like my personality, my rule following, like, this is how it's supposed to be done you're situation. You're doing it wrong. Oh, dude. We I need to sign. Yeah, yeah. I'm 30 like sitting, I'm like, I'll watch one... I'm sorry, internet. One fat lady sit at the thing and stay on one of the machines and just sit there and look at her phone while I do my whole workout. And <laughs> I skip her annoying. machine. I skip her machine, and I'm like, oh, 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 keeping my heart rate up. Boom, boom. The light switches. It turns green instead of red. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got to do the next yeah. machine. Wipe oh, it down. Oh, move. Oh, 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 wipe it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wipe it down. Move. And then, and then I watch the lady, and Still I always look at there. her. <laughs> Give her the These are angry eyes. I'm you, coming ma'am. for you. I'm coming for your machine. <laughs> and then I get to the machine next to her machine and I'm like <laughs> stare, <laughs> staring at her while you're I'm getting ready to put some reps in on your machine, lady. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that is annoying. Like do you stand in the corner and look at your phone. Yeah, for sure. And everybody's like <sighs> I think that's I don't know why it's like that, but it doesn't matter which planet fitness you're at, it's like that. Mm-hmm. And then if they if the people get a sense that you're actually doing the workout, they they, they go Oh, and then they clue in and they leave. Yeah. Like, I'll drive. By the time I've gone all the way around the room, it's like, no, usually I'm the last one in <laughs> because I'm the only one following the rules. <laughs> you know, but I maybe I'm that guy, but I just think it's really annoying. Well, it is annoying if you're trying to do the workout. Yeah. Yeah. There's like, there's, it's like posted everywhere. Like, these are the rules of the room. Yeah. This is how you use the room. You know, I don't Which know. Which Planet Fitness do you go to? Well, I have the black card, which means Whoa. I can go to anyone I like. Oh, yeah, I do too. 
Yeah, I um, go to Forty First and Yale is the one I usually go to. Yeah, I've I've gone in and out of there a I'm, little bit. I I've never seen the thirty minute room. Yeah, maybe I'm not looking. It's the yellow room. Oh, it's the yellow room. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen that sign. I just thought it was a a room with more machines. You're one of the guys. Yeah, it's me. You're one of the. I'm. Yeah, with that lady. So, yeah. <laughs> have you ever played? This is just your rule breaking or rule yeah. following thing. Have you ever played D and D? Yeah. Okay. So, are you the kind who will? Stop gameplay and be like, no, on page five. It oh, no, says, not even okay. close. Not even close. <laughs> okay. the, the D&D thing is completely different. I, I specifically love D&D only because I have the best dungeon master ever. Okay. His whole thing is that, one, I've never, I don't care what the rules are to D&D. Sure. I only do whatever I want until he stops sure. me. Sure. That's how it <laughs> should be. That's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, our, Jared knows our, my dungeon master really well because uh, his name's Randy and we grew up with him. Um, yep. And uh, this dude has devoted his life to that kind of thing. Yeah. And his whole thing is when he's the dungeon master, he says, I try to say yes to everything. That's a I good try mod- to find like, a way yeah. to say yes. So the first time I played Dun- Dungeons and Dragons, we got to the boss, you know, the boss fight or whatever right. that he had kind of planned. And uh, Jason and I, you remember Jason yep. Swanson, we kept, we kept rolling 20s, but like doing crazy things. Like, can I use my unseen servant to pull his pants down? And, and like, <laughs> well, I'll let you uh, roll, roll for, for it. it. 20, <laughs> yeah. boom, yes. Okay, and then it was my turn. I was like, can I, uh, can I use my unseen servant to tie his shoelaces together? And he was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so now he's like... <laughs> And the whole time, no just pants, like... shoelaces tied together, <laughs> and then I we roll another twenty. It's like, can I fart in his face? God. Like so, we kept like doing yeah. these like hilarious things, and we were just laughing our asses <laughs> off of this. And finally, Randy was like, "Listen, you guys have rolled so many twenties and got to do everything you want to do. You killed the boss. You, you he ran away in embarrassment <laughs> after tripping. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't he didn't even make us like actually fight he him. Ran away yeah. crying. Yeah, yeah, we just kept on like, oh my god, <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> they farted." <laughs> My face. <laughs> my face. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So like, yeah. and that just kind of played into the vibe that's of the, the whole rest yeah, of the thing. Yeah, that's the best way to play it. Like, I've, <laughs> I've been part of groups where it's like, they stop the combat for 30 minutes of rule reading. I'm like, come on. No, 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 no. Just, we didn't do that at all. Yeah. And it made Dungeons and Dragons hilarious because at one point I found a gargoyle and I thought it was like actually going to be alive, like gargoyles, like the yeah. show. Oh, yeah. And so like I was doing all sorts of funny stuff. <laughs> I was like, make my character take a shit off this bridge in front of the gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> the gargoyle sees and Randy it. Randy was like, it's not a, one of those gargoyles. It's just a statue. Okay, all right, man. Like, <laughs> you can't. No bodily functions. Let me roll all right? for it. Let yeah. me roll for it. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. It's stone. <laughs> it's stone. <laughs> right, gonna, is he watching me? Is he watching me? I'm going to do it. <laughs> you see no life in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the kind of stupid shit that yeah. would happen when we played D&D. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was always just being stupid, and the dungeon master was sounds really pretty fun. Okay, but Playing you have to be way. really careful with D anD D because sometimes you get a person who just makes the wrong kind of jokes. Oh yeah, like like we had. Somebody, Are you usually that guy? No, 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 no. no. Mine are always like poop jokes, right? Which is like what? it's its own kind of like poop not okay. Jokes? Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. I've never heard you. I've never heard you say it. Poop my my joke. guy's like over here just. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to pull his pants down and take a dump oh. everywhere, but there's it, occasionally you'll get it in a D and D campaign where there's there's a guy who thinks he's funny and he makes sex jokes, but there's girls. Yeah, and it's and like the, and it's uh, like stop trying to fuck every character. Yeah. You yeah. can't do that. We don't. This isn't that. This is not. We're not that. We're not that way. Yeah. Our D and D characters, they're like Ken dolls. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even. That's they don't the, even have anything down there. Have anything down there. Just that's when the DM like. Yeah, let's take a second to talk. Yeah, like, it's not hey, funny, what man. The, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah come on, dude. We actually have girls playing D and D with yeah. us right now. What are you doing? You're ruining it. Uh, ruining it. No one, no one's gonna get your roll twenty on that. Dick back in your pants <laughs> and have some fun, okay? Yeah. So you occasionally you do get into that whole thing. Have you, have you seen the bit on? Uh, I think it was SNL with William Shatner where he makes fun of D and D Trekkies. People? Trekkies? Oh, yes. No. Yes. Yeah, it's like an, an it's epic, been a long time, but yeah. classic bit where where Shatner's like walks into the Star Trek convention, and of course the Saturday Night Live cast are all the Trekkies, and they're like, "Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. when Kirk was like on episode twenty six, right, right." And yep. Shatner's like, "You nerds, <laughs> go get a life." Take a shower, like, <laughs> like, like he just, just like rips, you know, into he rips in, and starts making fun of all the Trekkies. That's sometimes you get. That 
vibe yeah. in D&D. <laughs> Oh, I you know, see. And so and nerd, I love, there's I a love, nerd spectrum. Yeah, and you want to be kind of in the middle. In the middle, yeah. You want, you you got to be nerdy enough, but like, hey, we don't have a hygiene problem, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> don't, okay, I'll tell you what's really fun is my D and D people. We also go like Ren, the Renaissance yeah. fairs and stuff. So I'm just like full blast nerd. Like, yeah, let's go. Let's nerd it up. Yeah, I thought I love it. It's so fun. I want to take my that. kids to that. I bet they'd have fun. The Renaissance Fair, Scott's Fest, like all that other yeah. sort of stuff. I'm having a great time. We need to go back to the board game bar. Oh, yeah. Shuffles. Oh, I yeah, definitely will go back great. to there. That was board uh, game bar. a lot of fun. Have you guys kept up with the Kendrick Lamar Drake yes, stuff? Kind of. I, I mean, like. just out of patriotism, Kendrick Lamar. Sure. Just I'm out of patriotism? Fan. Yeah, Canada sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you Canadians? Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Drake's from Canada. So a. You, <laughs> Have you listened to any of the songs? Like, no. they're pumping out songs <laughs> no. just cr- like blasting crazy. Each other. Oh, just yeah. blasting each other. I, I, that has to be for publicity only because I don't both know. of those guys oh. are so highly I think, successful. I think maybe it started that way, and then Kendrick was just like, you know what? Going all in. Yeah. That's because Kendrick is one of the greats. Which he is, is like, really good. He Actually, one yeah. of his songs is called uh, Not Like Us. He's in the top 100 right now. And it's just a diss at Drake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for it, I guess. I, I mean, if you don't have any drama, start it, right? Well, yeah. I think it started, like like Nick said, as kind of like a publicity stunt. And then they started unraveling some real... Some real... Like, hey, you're a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. What? What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Lamar, uh, Kendrick called Drake not black and, and asked Aww. him to stop using the N-word. Well, he's kind of half, right? He I is half. Know. He is yeah. half. But like, one of his lyrics was like something about like... I don't remember the first part, but then it ends with your favorite kind of song is in A minor. And so <laughs> oh, no, yeah. In yeah. A minor. In yeah. A minor. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And Not good. Like, Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Letting it all out there. Uh, yeah. It's just been crazy, and it's still going. It's like two weeks old, I think. Yeah. This, this, I feel um, like Kendrick's definitely winning. Oh, yeah. Kendrick's winning for sure. Well, he's, he's a better rapper. I he's mean, a yeah. better he, lyricist. Yeah. Didn't he I, win, like, a Pulitzer or something? No, I don't know. Some kind of crazy Oh, award. man. Like, I really liked Good Kid, Mad City. I thought it was a great record, so... I would never want to tango. Yeah, with against the, little yeah. Mar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They say to pimp a butterfly is better. I don't know. I met Kendrick I at... Good Kid, Mad City, so I kind of like that one the best, but... I haven't heard a Drake song that I've actually, like, liked in a long time. Yeah, they're catchy, yeah. but it's just like... Mm. It's like yeah, that's, that's good to listen to once. Yeah. Uh, but Stay Humble by Kendrick yeah. Lamar. Yeah, that's a great song. I still listen to it. Uh, Money Trees is my favorite. Money Trees? Yeah, it's from... It's like a deep cut from Good Kid, Mad City. But I yeah. I just love the sample at the beginning. So... So you both like Kendrick Lamar more than Drake? Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, just just because I, I perceive him to be a more honest artist with a with with a higher level of skill. It's the same reason. That, okay, and this is controversial. You guys might not agree with me. Let's hear I it. like Prince better than Michael Jackson. I could agree with that. I, I but but not because Prince's hits are better than Michael's hits. Those are some strong hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, thank God that they were in like a cold war yeah. of amazing pop music. You know what I mean? Yeah. But as an artist, yeah. I know that Mike co-wrote most of his songs. Yep. I know that Michael can't play any instruments for the most right. part. He actually And just, Prince would literally do everything. Yeah, and Prince would go songs. to the studio by himself and come out and then Purple He Rain would finish would an entire or, song in one yeah. day. Yes. And whenever he would collaborate with people, if they didn't work yeah. fast enough, he would just do the part himself. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I and I fully understand why, mm-hmm. because um, I mean, even Paul McCartney. I like uh, clearly, I'm a huge Paul McCartney guy, but he says never make demos because the magic in the recording, th- you'll fall in love with whatever you start working on first, mm-hmm. and you won't be able to recapture the magic. I think Prince has kind of understood the same thing: is that he would go to the studio and he'd do it once, and he'd get it right. And then if he had to do it again, he could never capture that magic. He wouldn't, uh, no, I was literally watching, it's crazy, I was literally watching a documentary on Prince the other day, and he did not do two takes. Mm-hmm. Whatever he did the first time is what it was. Really? Mm-hmm. It was in the song, yep. He'd mm-hmm. practice a bunch and then... Yeah. Yeah, he did that And with he his, said it's something like that. It's like yeah. all, the, all the emotion you're feeling, it's mm-hmm. in the first take. Mm-hmm. And then you try to replicate it, try to pretend to do the same thing a second time, you're mm-hmm. not going to have the same feeling as you did the first time you did it. So... Mm-hmm. 
he always just went with the first take. Yeah, I think I saw the same documentary because he was talking about recording other musicians, and yeah. he was like, no, 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 we'll work with it. Yeah. Because, you know, we'll take the best parts of that first, you know, capture yeah. of magic. But yeah, you're always trying to d- catch this lightning situation, and I think Kendrick is better than that than Drake. Yeah. Drake seems like he's he's, he's got to be doing the song in one like day thing because polished yeah. to a nice or he's, he's got just whole, got like <laughs> a vault of like if this guy talks shit I, drop I'll use that this one beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if this guy yeah. if this guy comes after me let yeah. this one out this yeah. Guy, <laughs> yeah he must because it's he's make writing whole albums yeah. real um, fast so when we were talking about um, Jake Paul Mike Tyson yeah. I'm excited when for is that, that going to happen? Like next month, I think. July uh, 20th, I believe. Dude, I June have to 20th? literally clear my entire schedule Yeah, we got to get that. together I on it. I cannot Absolutely. wait. Yeah. But I saw this yesterday. It was like a what if or would you rather kind of. So it was like you get to box Mike Tyson at any age from 1 to 30, but whatever age you choose is how many millions of dollars you get. Oh, I punched the heck out of baby Mike. So for a million dollars or what? We talk <laughs> Boom. Of, we talk I win. Of, yes. I beat up that baby. A million bucks. But actually, like how you could probably take a five-year-old him yeah. easy. Seven? You're still going, yeah. I, I seven think, million dollars. I I could go. You have to deal with the fact that you just said you'd beat 12? up a seven-year-old. And he knocked old. out a 17-year-old. He knocked out a 17-year-old <laughs> at 12. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, okay, to make it fair, he'd have to probably be at least 18. He'd, I, kick, he'd kick my absolute oh, I think yeah. I think I'd go for six. I'd yeah. say six I've years old. I've got reach on him. <laughs> you know? Punching out a six-year-old. I think eight starts getting dangerous. Is YouTube going to let us say, I want to punch a six-year-old and get away with it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like, that's we all. Get all, of all the things we can't say, you can <laughs> say, I choose to punch Mike Tyson as <laughs> a six-year-old six and yeah. not get in it's trouble for that. It's all hypothetical. You can't actually do that. Yeah. Yeah. Time machine. I'm going back to make six million dollars. As and I I'm said, it right in the, right into it, a a low risk investment. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm there, putting it in my I own mean, name. Regardless, you're gonna get a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, Little. yeah. Every scenario in this, I end up a millionaire. So we're yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're I, two. Yes. I mean, yeah. I can still I can still beat up my son. So six. Yeah. And he just turned six. I mean, I'm not beating my son. I'm right. just saying I have the ability to. <laughs> my niece is eight, and she hasn't really sprouted up yet. So I'm like, okay, because boys usually lag behind yep. girls in growth. So I'm like, okay, eight's probably good. Eight's, but if <laughs> he eight knocked mil? out yeah. a 17 year old at 12, your wife's kinda... like, why didn't you go for 12 and get me the <laughs> get me the yacht? <laughs> we can invest afterwards and slowly yeah, work up to the yeah. yacht. Let's say you take that six million, just you can do all kinds of things with it. As long mm. as we live on the yacht, then yeah, we can just buy one immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's like, some Russian guy's trying to get rid of a yacht right now, I'm sure. I feel like there's a bunch of Russian guys trying to get rid of yachts. <laughs> Not enough market out there to sell them off. They're all like being held by, uh, God, the sanctions that the world put on Russia. Um, Do you guys listen to any podcasts? Yeah, like, yeah Modern like Wisdom, Rogan. Regularly, Rogan. Yeah, Modern listen Wisdom. listen to a lot of uh, your mom's house studio stuff. So like Two Bears, One Cave, which is Burton. Oh, Tom. I like that guy, yeah. And then with his wife, Tom His wife is Christina. hilarious. Segura? Yeah. Tom Segura? And then... Do you listen to Impulsive? Um, I get clips of it. I clips of it? Or the George Janko show? Mm, I... The only thing I've really seen is when Bobby Lee went on there and made yeah. him like walk <clears throat> off because he kept like touching him and shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, so they did. So George Janko had Mike M- Malak. I'm, I'm butchering his last name. I can't say it right. Um, whenever they were on Impulsive together, George Janko, Mike, and Logan Paul is whenever Bobby Lee was on there. Mm-hmm. And that was like the the turning point that made George leave the show yeah, was yeah. that thing. Yeah. So Mike just went on George's show and mm-hmm. they hashed all this I out. I saw some clips on that on yeah. TikTok. And I was it's just crazy. Like, uh, it, I forgot the point, but um, they were talking about the ins and outs about how it all went down. And they, they keep having fallouts. Like... Yeah. Uh, Mike just went on Jeff FM's podcast. You probably never heard of that one. No. He got mad and left the show. Mm-hmm. So it made me think, whenever we get big enough, which one of us is going to get mad and leave first? 
I got a feeling it's going, I feel like it's going to be Donnie. Donnie. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah. Why me? You're, you're all the duck fucking you're yeah. doing. This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whack, 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 whack. Come here. Whack, come here. Come here. Come on. We're going to have to have a talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is to catch a duck? <laughs> well, if I catch one and I got it. I'm going to do what I got to do. <laughs> Just kidding. We're probably going to have a guest on at that point. It's going to hate your jokes. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then that's what's going to happen. It's like the Bobby Lee's going to make is, is he always talking about yeah. poop and farts and stuff? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. Is he always talking about this? Poops and, Is he always talking about poops and farts as Bobby Lee's grabbing his dick? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> oh, apparently that's what dude, he did to George Jenko. Oh, my Jankos. gosh. Um, speaking of Bobby Lee, I like their bad friends with him and uh Andrew. oh yeah what's uh, the redhead santino andrew santino yeah andrew santino yeah i like i like them too yeah it's a lot of good uh oh did you guys see okay speaking of this kind of thing i don't mean to interrupt no you're good i just don't know this is terribly rude but i saw my brother showed me a clip of jerry seinfeld doing the commencement speech at duke university uh-huh. and the students were walking out on him what yeah because uh because of Palestine stuff because Jerry's Jewish or whatever. Jerry Seinfeld. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, when did this happen? Like, like just this week. And he was like giving his opinion about the whole thing, and people were no. He was just giving a speech, but people were walking out on him because because, because he's, Jewish. he's Jewish. He's a Jewish comedian. Yeah. Wow. I think that's a little too extreme. That yeah. Is. I don't know. I don't know if that's <laughs> actually extreme. what was happening. I could be totally wrong. On the internet. Yeah. Maybe he said um, something. My, I could see yeah. that, but not just because he's Jewish. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Well. Like, uh, but, but but Jerry's stance is probably definitely not a uh, not anti RAF, you know, or whatever Israel I I A F or whatever. Oh yeah, IDF, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't have a stance on any of that. But I just like watching Jerry Seinfeld get like walked out on or whatever was. A Why would you like watching people walk out on Jerry Seinfeld? I didn't. Li- I know nobody would. I don't guess. But it's just funny to see how people are acting these days. I let me, see. Let me see if I can. Jerry Seinfeld. I like Jerry Seinfeld. And so is my wife. So I was like, uh, whenever we were dating, that was the show she would fall asleep to. Seinfeld? Seinfeld. I've never really watched it, but I love Curb, so I don't know. Yeah, that was my so dad's favorite show going up. walk out as Jerry Seinfeld delivers speech. Don't, That's wild. That's actually a thing. Then it doesn't say why? Um, it's a, just a YouTube video. I can't okay. even... Yeah, uh, don't pull it up. Yeah, yeah we, we'll have to look at it some other time. But wild topic of conversation. I... <sighs> I have family that are really on the pro-Palestine, mm-hmm. the Palestinian side of that, mm-hmm. and um, I can totally understand where they're coming from. Um, but also, it's just uh, it's just wild to see people, especially young people, be so passionate about something that has so little to do with them yeah they have so they have so little of ability to affect change in that way right. mm-hmm. um i don't know what do you what do you guys think about that like I've so they're thinking if they really walk mad. out on jerry seinfeld they're gonna stop bombing each other is yeah that, is that is that yeah, like i the, guess the idea i don't know yeah i don't i don't really have a stance on it at all uh, because I don't, none of us i don't know enough to they, they didn't put a vote up and say hey do you want to do you want to start like helping the IDF pound some Palestinians. No, no one got to vote for that. Right. Like I would clearly vote no on mm-hmm. that. Like, like I'm all for getting rid of Hamas. You know, anybody who's going to be openly be like, you know, death to the Jews. Like, right. let's, mm-hmm. like let's let's stop that. But I don't. That's like, why Hitler got killed. Yeah, we should we should all see Hitler as a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hitler why. bad guy. Has he not? <laughs> Big reason. Right? Hitler bad He's guy. Like, I'm invading the whole world, but I don't like the Jewish people. Everybody was like, "That's it, That's <laughs> sir. <laughs> you've sir, gone too you've far. You've gone too far. Now you must die." <laughs> and so I don't know, man. But but it's weird to watch people get so divisive between each other. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, man, they've been. To, for, from my perspective, is they've been. Uh, beating the shit out of each other over there on all sides of that line and between each other, between their different religious sects for like a zillion years. And I don't want to be involved in it. Yeah. I just like, we just shouldn't get involved. We don't know what we're doing. If we help one, we're inevitably going to make enemies on the other side of it. doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't, I have almost intentionally not kept up with it. Yeah. Because I, 
but I don't want to have a stance. You know, yeah. it's like, it doesn't yeah. affect me and my family. I, maybe okay. I should and, and care, but I just, I don't. even not having a stance is enough to get people mad at you on both sides. Yeah, I know, I know. Which is a, a weird thing, too. It's like, I just, I'm ignorant, so I don't have a stance. Yeah, I don't know enough about it to, to make a comment, so I'm not going to comment on it. Yeah. I think what's cool is that a, a cousin of mine have just and I have decided that, like, hey, we're going to be naturally different on this because he's, he leans left and I lean right. And we have an understanding between each other that, hey, is, man. This is Jordan? Yeah, we are not going to let any of this stuff get in between us. Yeah, that's great. No matter what. That's great. You know, because we cast our vote one time every four years, and we do our best to pick a not asshole, but they only serve us assholes. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you what what kind of sandwich do you want? Do you, do you want an asshole sandwich or a, san, a sandwich asshole? <laughs> do you want the shit on the inside so, or the yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want shit buns or shit meat? <laughs> mm. What kind of shit sandwich do you want to eat? Shit meat, please. <laughs> shit meat, please. <Yeah. laughs> no, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Making sure that you can always have a conversation about stuff with an understanding that no matter how you think, yeah, we're going to love each other. Our relationship is still intact. We have to be able to do that. And I think our whole society is crying out for that kind of connectivity and going like, hey, man, it's Thanksgiving. What if we just don't talk about that? Yeah. What if we just, you know, anything else? Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I I truly don't know enough about. It. I know that it's a fuck screwed up situation, yep. mm-hmm. and that I mean we're definitely giving weapons to Israel. I think there's something about them stopping it because of what they're doing. So I don't know. I mean, I think if you want to enact change across the world, you can't do it by walking out on Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> no. You can definitely. You have to like. Start voting, like you said. Like, yeah, you have to mm-hmm. do what you can do. Make sure Congress enacts a law that, mm-hmm. it's like, hey, let's not fund mm-hmm. bombing of people. Yep. I don't know the context of the walking out on Jerry Seins, uh, yeah, Seinfeld, either. but if it was just mm. because he is Jerry Seinfeld, you're an asshole. Yeah, I kind of. I think mean, so he too. has had come some kind of like. I think he dated like a underage girl when he was like twenty. So when he was twenty. I mean, it's still... What, what, like, was it... Do we know, like, 16, 17? I don't remember. I don't know, it's 40 years ago. She was, like, three, I think. No, oh, I'm kidding. Three. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. So, <laughs> I walk out of Jerry, too. Because <laughs> yeah. when you first said that, that's what I thought you were, they were upset about, but... No, I think it's, it has to do over this, you know, Gaza thing. Which mm. I don't know. I did watch his new movie on Netflix, which oh, was, like, about a one... Oh, Yeah, it was, like, one big Kellogg commercial. And I, it was about Pop Tarts. Yeah, how they made Pop Tarts. It's not like, I'm assuming it's not historically was it accurate. Oh, it was pretty good. I mean, it was like very uh, silly humor. Like, yeah. Was, was it, it like you don't had Jim be... Gaffigan in it? So yeah. it's gonna be like. Was it like with that McDonald's documentary a long time ago where they did a Super Size Me and no. they just like uh-uh. trashed McDonald's? No, it's like no. Bizarro Land where. Nobody acts like a rational human being. <laughs> <laughs> and like, but it did effectively work on my wife because she's like, Can you go to the store and get Pop Tarts? Like, yeah, I'll go get some I'm really crazy. Yeah. Pop Tarts. Dude, Pop right Tarts have such a diminishing return. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When they came out with toaster strudels, Ooh. my family could not afford those things, but dude, those there's nothing changers. like a toaster strudel. You love you, you love oh, yourself some toaster strudels. Oh, they kick the, the absolute yeah. shit out of pop tarts. They are what pop tarts should have always been. Yeah, I never really liked pop tarts. I would eat no. them if that's what we were eating. What kind are you eating? Uh, I don't, don't know. The, the red filled one. Okay. Yeah, it's a cherry or strawberry. Yeah. Cinnamon's Let me tell you worst. something about pop yeah, tarts. It was. If they, if, listen, Kellogg's. If you would make a peach unfrosted pop tart. Nope. I'm out. Yep. A peach, un- <laughs> shut up, Nick. A peach unfrosted Ew. pop tart. You have at least one client. Nice. That's wow. me. That, the the only, the only, the it. only un- off all the time. I will gain five hundred pounds. The <laughs> okay. The blueberry unfrosted pop tart is by far my favorite. I've heard of. Okay, this is wild. This is fat people shit. Buttering your pop tart. Mm-hmm. You would butter your pop tart. No, I've never done it. I've but seen I've it heard, done. I've se- uh, uh, it, it does increase the quality. Does it? How do you know? Tart. You said you didn't do it. Uh, imagine what would happen if you put butter on a Pop-Tart. Probably it would be great. Be, yeah, probably delicious. Mm. And a Pop-Tart is lacking the fats. It's only sugar and, like, carbs. It's like if you add yeah. that, like, savory it's fattiness. Like nothing good. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it would increase the, the difference between that and a toaster strudel is that a toaster strudel is like a toaster is like a pastry, mm. which has all that butter and yeah. like you know like nice stuff in it. You know? I forgot about toaster strudels. I don't know when the last time I had a pop tart was. Don't, was it like don't a couple weeks for you? Uh, it was yesterday. Yesterday? What about, what about you, Donnie? <laughs> When's the last time you had a Pop Tart? Dude, okay. So, where I work, there are Pop Tarts for free. Oh, nice. Oh, so you so eat I them have all to the time. actively avoid them. Oh, yes. Is that at, at Life Church? Yeah. There's got a table full of Pop Tarts all the time. Nice. Pop Tarts everywhere. Breakfast. <laughs> the Lord's Breakfast. <laughs> They're cheap. And yeah. I guess Pop-tarts they can buy They have a Pop Tart. And deal. hot chocolate. Oh, and ready infinity, to go. Infinity burnt Starbucks coffee made way too strong. Oh, like, nice. I oh, swear nice. it'll give you an ulcer. Mm. I see that coffee and I go, ugh. ugh. And I drink coffee my all mouth. the time, but I can't. I don't want it to burn. I can't. I'm like, ugh, there's a hole in my <laughs> stomach. <laughs> you guys both eat frozen pizza, right? Of course. Okay, I so actually think that frozen pizza is better. Why? Sometimes. I don't know. It depends. Here, my a point Tony's was pizza is a pretty good. It ride. is pretty good. I love, yeah. I love me some frozen pizza. I also feel like shit. You know, sometimes time. I would get a frozen pizza, go to Ma- Mazio's, and mm-hmm. just get a tub of ranch. Hmm. Insane. You know, it, have you it, seen it the? Insane. Have you seen Lee the, good. The, 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 <laughs> have you seen the like the, the nutrition facts on the Mazio's ranch? I don't care. I yeah. don't know how they... Listen, like, my wife used use... to work at Mazio's, and she said how they make it is that, you know, people with no gloves on would put their arm full deep in a tub of, of ranch yeah. and just stir it like that. So if you ever got a little hair in your Mazio's Shut ranch, up. it's part of the recipe. That is far <laughs> nasty. It's all part I, of the plan. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care uh, at Give all. me that Mazio's ranch. Yeah, don't ranch. talk to me about the nutritional yeah. facts. I just want to eat the ranch. <laughs> yeah, bring okay. me the ranch. Don't there t- is something better about, like... Homemade, homemade ranch than like Hidden Valley. Like, oh yeah, I can't. Okay. Stand There's something it. wrong about Hidden Valley. Yeah, There's Hidden Valley is absolutely fake about it. I mean, I still eat it. Listen, you head because va- it's called Hidden Valley ranch. pieces of shit. <laughs> you're you're you are sandbagging something delicious from us, right? And we're tired of it. Listen, okay? Hidden Valley. We know because Mazio's gave us the real thing. <laughs> yeah, just take yeah. Mazio's <laughs> recipe. Hidden Valley, go back to hiding. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. Get die. out of here. If you're going to hide just your die. whole valley, freaking don't even yeah. exist. Yeah. Okay? Hide in your valley. How yeah. about be a uh, transparent valley <laughs> yeah. that like shows us the truth about yeah. what's what we're eating? Not, too thick. not secret valley. It's got not... like a tang to it for some reason. It's not good. Yeah, what just, is in it, man? Just call what yourself Mazio's Valley. I'd eat that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't tell me what's in it. So good. Anyways, whenever you eat frozen pizza, it's like a guarantee that. Well, with me, I can't. I can't be patient enough to wait yeah. for it oh, to cool to down. Yeah. So yeah. I bite it, knowing that I'm going to burn the top of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> and then I have to deal with it for the next six hours. So you just, <laughs> dude, okay. so, I was on this so again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're such an idiot. That's hilarious. Uh, so we have this, like, you know, the the the, the orange spool that you keep the extension cord on. Yeah. And you zzz, and you roll it up. So I was on the gig, and there was this sound guy. Okay, and I had one of those orange spools, and I had put XLR cables, which are mic cables, on the spool. And I have a hundred of those mic cables because we run them to everything, right? It controls the mains. It's where the microphones come in. It's where the drums you hook up, everything, right? And so I'm spooling up some microphone cable on there, and the, mic, the, the, <laughs> the sound guy comes up, and he's like, I don't do that anymore. He doesn't, okay. like, he doesn't roll like, cords You don't anymore? do what? And he's like, I won't roll cords on a roll like that. <laughs> And I'm like, hey, why not? It's the perfect way. I have them all spooled up right here. Perfect. They stay in the bag. They're they're easy to get off. The, you just pull them back off. You know, it's it's great. He's like, I just every time I wrap them up, I hit myself in the nuts with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and I'm like, why do you keep doing yeah. that? You can just not do that. And he's it's, like, he's like, no way, man. I just won't do it anymore. And I'm instead like, instead of rolling it like this, you, you should. Know, roll it's like, like it's that. basically like. Like he's like, stop hitting yourself, yeah. hitting himself, <laughs> he just, and he's like, I won't, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. It hurts so you good. You should just stop doing whatever you hit yourself in the or balls with. Hold like, the spool over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you don't have to. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's just like squatting, <laughs> oh, <laughs> squatting, <laughs> squatting over it as he's rolling. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I don't get hurt in the nuts yeah. again. Oh, oh no, <laughs> uh, not oh. again, not again. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't. 
can't do this anymore. <laughs> I should really stop. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the guy's like, I'm like, why don't you just not roll it like that? Yeah. Like you could, like I do this. I don't hit myself in the balls ever, man. Yeah. Like very simple solution. Go the other way. <laughs> go the other way. There's a lot of ways to yeah. fix it. There's a really then good never way. Do it slow again. down once you see you're getting towards the <laughs> end yeah. of it. Right? Gauge, gauge yeah. when the end is coming. Wait, wait, watch. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> You could even connect the next cable is to it. You'll like, never hit yourself in the balls. Is he just like Ray Charles you know, while he's like... Oh, yeah, he's just, just like doing the Stevie Wonder hitting himself in the nuts with the mic cables. <laughs> just like rage twirling it. <laughs> oh, Someday I'm going to more mad nuts. so he goes faster. He hits himself harder the next time. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, anyways, so the, the funniest people I run into doing that sort of thing. But, I mean, back to whatever you were doing that was hurting Have yourself. Have you... you have you? Uh, no, I'm done. I'm gonna burn my mouth when I eat frozen pizza. I know that's you it. can't that's just the stop story. I can't. For I mean, one second. No, I can, <laughs> but like I don't know. The food's there. I want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> and so I eat it I totally when it's it. too hot. Yeah. And I burn my mouth, <laughs> and it every hurts time. so good, <laughs> and tastes so delicious, even um, though uh, my mouth is in pain for a while afterwards. Do you know who uh, Walton Goggins is? Mm-hmm. No. Who's you don't that? know who Walton Goggins is? Who's Walton Goggins. Have you seen Django? Yes. Have you seen The Hateful Eight? No. You haven't seen Tarantino's other Western? Mm Mm-mm. Okay, Walton Goggins is, like, uh, the best cowboy character of all time. It's not all he does, but that's how I found him. And he plays the ghoul in Fallout, and it's amazing. Okay. Yeah, it's a great show. And I am so happy that Walton Goggins is finally getting the attention that he deserves, because I've loved this dude for a long time, because I love Mm -hmm. Westerns. Mm Mm-hmm. And he's in. Oh, that guy! Yeah, yeah. he's in a bunch, yeah. a bunch of my favorite isn't westerns. He also like, a, isn't he like a, the Red Skull? Yeah. No. in Marvel. No, no, he no he's not the Red Skull in Marvel. The guy who was on Lord of the Rings, the. Uh, elf, yeah, elf he was man. in. He was the elf in Matrix, Lord of the Rings. Mr. Smith. The Matrix, yeah. Mr. Smith. Yeah. Smith. That's yeah. that guy. Okay, sorry. But, Anyways, but uh, similar weird like chiseled jawline, yeah. kind of like. And you, you never know, played the Fallout pieces. games, right? Uh, no, unfortunately. Okay. I love to you should watch them. Fallout the show it's because show. it's fantastic. You don't have to know anything about, you don't have to know anything about the game. Okay, yeah. Just the show itself is incredibly entertaining. And Walton Goggins plays the ghoul in it, and he's amazing. Yeah, he's like the probably the, my favorite yeah. character in the show. He's absolutely my favorite character. I, I mean, I, watched, I started mm. watching it not only because it's Fallout, but because he was in it. I think I might give it a shot then. I mean, I literally need a show right now. I was surprised. I got my wife to watch it. Like, we binged the whole thing, and she was into it. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Have you guys seen Severance? Severance? Oh, my God. Tell me about Severance. Uh, That was with uh, Michael Scott? No, not Michael. uh, No. Um, Ben Stiller produced it. Ben Stiller? Mm -hmm. And it's the guy that played Michael Scott? No, uh... Adam Scott is he in that? Mm, oh, Adam Scott. I don't know. I don't know the names of the car- of the actors, but I'm telling you that show is incredible. Severance. That's yeah. the one where they like, separate on? their yeah work their life. work self from yeah. their. Yeah. Personal so the whole life. concept is like they work on like classified stuff or whatever, and they have like an implant in their brain that literally, as soon as they walk in their workplace, it's like all the memories from their previous workday and past days come back but they forget everything outside of work. Oh. And they don't remember anything before going to work. Yeah. They just wake up one day and they're like, oh, who am I? Yeah. And they're like, you work here. In fact, you signed this piece of paper saying that you work here. I'm sure that makes everybody very productive at work. It does, but yeah. It does for a while. (laughs) Yeah, it's a good show. I like it. It's a great show. It's it's incredible. What's it on Netflix, you said? Apple It's Apple TV. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, you know, Apple. Hmm. So... Um, do you guys watch the roast Tom Brady? I did I've not. I've seen the clips. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Did he deserve it? I mean, he took it pretty well. There was like the first part of it is just like him getting shit on for getting a divorce. Yep. <laughs> and all of the like deflate gate and all of his yep. cheating that scandals that he went through. Mm. Mm. Did well, he was face, trying did to his, win. Yeah. <laughs> did his face look like, oh, it's true, but look, I'm going to laugh at it. Yeah, there was like the first 30 minutes, you could see in his face, he's like, why the fuck did why I Why am I here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why did I say this? Yeah. Why did I agree to do this? Yeah. It was uh, really I saw funny. the Kevin Hart bit, and he, he, tore, he tore into the, the divorce stuff yeah. really well, or really entertainingly. Yeah. Uh, I was laughing, but also going, ooh. Yeah. 
It was good. <laughs> and the Burt Kreischer and uh, Tom Segura were there. Yeah, they did like a... It was like a PowerPoint slide on how he's a uh, sociopath, like serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that I love the idea of roast. I didn't see any of the roast that you're talking about, mm-hmm. but I think that, um, that there's a culture, and I can't remember where this was, at what point in history this happened, but there was some culture that I heard about that every year they take the king out and they like mock him oh, and really? like kind of beat him up and like make fun of him and stuff just to remind him, hey, you're one of us. <laughs> you're, you're working for us. What the, people, culture? the people mock the king. Yeah. And they, 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 they kind of just, just remind him, hey, you're just, uh, you, you know, you put your pants just, on right. one leg at a time. And I think roasts are good for that. For that. Yeah. Anytime that you have a leader in an environment, the first thing they should be able to do is take criticism well. Right. You know? Yeah. Get, so like, get that, I think that's, I think we should, uh, stay humble, kind yeah. of uh, take that <laughs> concept Sorry. and like put it like society wide. Yeah. You know, I could I mean? see that becoming like a dystopian nightmare real quick though. No, our leaders who <laughs> oh, abuse leaders, us. leaders, for sure. I was thinking no, of No, the roast thing yeah. needs to be like implemented onto these people. They can't yeah. be above reproach. No, I, I they totally have to agree be, with that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like good. Congress needs to get taken out, made fun of relentlessly, and then have term limits. Yeah. Have you know term I mean? limits yeah. and uh, a pay, th- or not the ability to invest in the stock market right. yes, at they all. They shouldn't be able to do that Zero. at all. We Zero. Should, we, should, we should pay them so well that we like, listen, if you do this for four years, hundred grand a year for the rest of your life. Yeah. They but really should. They really should do that. You make it where they can't invest in the stock market, yep. and if they somehow do through like a yep. third party, yep. prison for life. Love it. Yeah. No, just execution. Execution. Oh, that works for me too. Yeah. Public, but we get to roast them before. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 like with, on a on a tree. <laughs> Your dick is small. <laughs> Hit the electric chair. <laughs> 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 Or we're just like <laughs> <laughs> because that would handle corruption. You yeah. can't get bribed into doing things if you're not yeah. allowed to. Oh, did you hear about that? He on the chair. He said he had a small dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you see the way his ears smoked? That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> did you see the way his hair burned off yeah. the top of his head? <laughs> Oh, that was a they good part. They should have wet that sponge before they turned on the electric <laughs> chair on him like that. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. Anyways. But it's also great. <laughs> be, it would. I think. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think about the like the idea in countries where like if you steal something they cut your hand off? It seems extreme. Yeah, but I mean, do people still stuff? I mean, out there? Uh, does it work? I, mean, I don't. Still I mean, they're still each... cutting hands off. Like, must oh, not work that well. Yeah, I stole something once. I mean, have you ever stole <laughs> anything? Have you ever <laughs> no, stole anything? Yeah, have you ever yeah. stole anything? Yeah. When I was a little kid, I stole My a candy bar. My wife's heart. <laughs> oh no, man. I've stolen shit before. Yeah. <laughs> one time, <laughs> one time when I was like 22 or something, I walked into a Walmart a little buzzed. Okay. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And I was upset that my car cord mm-hmm. for my phone wasn't working. So I walked into Walmart, mm-hmm. went to the actual aisle where all they were, literally just opened it right there, mm-hmm. put the cord in my pocket, threw the packaging in the trash, got out, wasn't caught. Wow. I'm almost 100% sure that that was recorded. Mm. It was like an Ocean's Eleven moment. I'm going to call cops. Cut to Jared, <laughs> Jared. ripping the package. Oh. Yeah, with all with like the <laughs> Mission Impossible themes. I mean, actually, that song was going in my yeah. head. No, that's 007. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what you gotta do? Uh, <laughs> and then I got free. That was good. Mm. No, mine like is usually like I'll be doing self checkout or something, and like I notice something as I've already paid. Oh yeah, and I'm like. <laughs> oh, right. You're cheating the self checkout system. I've done that I before. Don't, yeah. I don't. I don't. I have a pretty strong ethic when it comes to stealing. I don't do it. Um, I don't steal intentionally. But like how Nick just described it, mm-hmm. there was a bottle of Windex that I got like three weeks ago that I forgot to pay for. And I said, oh, "Well, sorry." Yeah, mm. wasn't intentional. I'm not Walmart, gonna go back. Well, I think Walmart probably has some sort of financial spreadsheet that's like we lose this amount of shit to, to theft. Yeah. But an employee cost this much. Yeah. So eh. the other day I walked into Quick Trip. My brain was just in a fog or something. I went to the Mm -hmm. drinking fountain, grabbed a 32 ounce of Rooster Booster, was just in my head and just walked out. Didn't pay for it. <laughs> oh, QT is definitely also. <laughs> and I, it knows wasn't exact, intentional. They know their it margin. It wasn't intentional. On that. I just re, I was halfway home and was like, I don't remember paying for this. 
And then I checked my bank account and I was like, I did not pay for that. Oh my god. <laughs> my gosh, bad. Yeah. Just wasn't intentional. In. They're just like, what the fuck? Well, so <laughs> yeah, like I was wondering because I, I was wondering if they were watching me as I was just leaving. Huh, no, 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 no. Are we gonna stop that redheaded <laughs> freak from taking <laughs> our <laughs> booster booster? <laughs> <laughs> Let him go, Jerry. Let I, I probably him go. Hey, you, come back here, you ginger kid. <laughs> I probably looked so confident that they didn't think anything. I was yeah. like, oh, they, they probably thought the same thing as me. Oh, well, he must have paid for that. He's yeah. leaving nonchalantly back to I mean, Mr. Witter is your rooster. Booster boosted, because I think you owe us a dollar and twenty nine yeah. cents. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, sorry. Oh my god." Whoa. <laughs> god they call done. it Rooster Booster. That's the funniest. I love Rooster Booster. I do too. So I got some over there. Um, I like no, the, I mean, the I have sl- a, uh, slushy kind though. Yeah, it's good too. Yeah, got a. Uh, I had a roommate who stole, uh, not stole, but like borrowed for months at a time. I think. And it broke my trust in him. He borrowed what? Well, so, you know, I'm a musician. Yep. Clearly. And, like, I, I've had a lot of mus- musicians live with me. And so there's gear around the house oh, that's nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right? And I've got really nice things because the studio's always equipped. has what it needs. And um, they borrowed something that was worth about 50 bucks <sighs> for three months on a tour. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for it. Looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. Finally bought another one. And they come back and they're like, oh, that was yours? Mm. And they were like, I asked you in passing if that was yours. And I was like, well, in passing, what do you mean? Like, I was, like, doing something else? And they were like, yeah. And then I was like, well, was it yours? Right. And they were like, (laughs) no, but it was in the house and I didn't. In my house? So, so <laughs> in, in my house, where there's musicians all the time, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you thought it because it wasn't mine, it's yours? That, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It was another, if it wasn't mine, it was some other person's thing. Right. So you're not allowed to take it anyways. Right. Or but, ask, and I'll tell you yes yeah. or no. But all of that combined means I literally cannot trust you with any of this stuff. Right. And so it's made me paranoid. Mm. So I like, uh, or like around other people living in the house, like they'll probably take my things and not yeah. tell me. Yeah. You know, and this other person had the same ethic about food. Like, oh, there's just food in the house. So it's mine. Yeah. That's annoying. Oh, really? I'm like, so like your leftovers, they just be gone. Oh yeah. Just like, just like, you know, if, if something's already open and it's possible to get it without really like, did I eat all that chocolate? Did I, mm-hmm. did I, where's that? You know, that ethic. And, and so then around this person i would always be like hey may i have some of your food i'll pay you for it they're like no 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 no, no. don't pay me just have some it's because they were stealing my shit the whole time <laughs> you know what i mean and they right. felt bad about it i just don't like that ethic sure you know what i mean so maybe i just have a stronger like no stealing mm. situation it might be because did you, you had a lot of brothers and sisters and you I just had a sister but yeah so i didn't have anybody stealing my stuff right Right, I, I kind of grew up around it. Yeah. We just eat our each other's stuff all the time. So, yeah, yeah. like whenever I had roommates, oh. my food would be eaten all the time. Did you ever? Get and I that? would just return the favor. No, and it was just this is how it was. Did you do? You, do you feel that way about your spouses? Do you get into that same situation where you're like, this I, is my not food. me, not a, Lauren does. Yeah, she's well, very yeah. protective of her food, but my food, mm-hmm. Lauren can take it all and and know that I won't say anything. But yeah. if I Oh God! Eat some of her food. <laughs> She's like, "Hey, Jared, I'm looking for my queso that we had left over from Mexican the other day." I was like, "Oh yeah, I ate that as a snack last night." Right. <sighs> I really hate that you did. That. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Serena does the same thing, except she'll let it go bad in the fridge, and I'm just sitting there watching it. Like I'll open the fridge, yeah. I'm like, "I want to eat that." <laughs> yeah, I want to eat that right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I've had, That's happened to me too. I've had so many times where I've been like, sh- like a week later, she's like, "Where is it?" I'm like, oh, I ate that three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for it now, it yeah. wouldn't have been edible <laughs> yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like, well, I just kind of given up. Like, if it's anything that she would want, I'm just like, don't even touch yep. it. Yep, that's mm. that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at now too. Well, I think part of the thing about, and then this is possibly sexist, but part of the thing about being an attractive male is generosity. Sure. I mean, sure. This is this is beyond. This is this is both ways. It's also generosity from females to males is important, but I think. From like an evolutionary biology perspective, generous males attract females because oh they're generous, which means right. they'll they'll feed me and my children, you know. Right. 
I don't know if that's true or not. Internet. I think it's like 50-50. Because I think yeah. the bad boy thing is still pretty attractive to a lot of ladies. Yeah, sure. but bad boy. But not ladies not, that are looking for not a serious not sharing. Yeah. Dude, a bad boy who shares is nice. Oh, wow. A bad boy who shares? Yeah. Mm. I think that, that actually that might seems be. seems like an oxymoron. No, 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 no. A bad boy who's bad to everyone but you. Oh, okay. You yeah. know what I mean? You're the special one. Disagreeable. And yeah. then yeah. you're on the team of the disagreeable gotcha. party. You know what I mean? Like, I remember feeling that way, um, the, <laughs> I remember feeling that way about, about Cody because Cody would just get shit done. Like he would go into Best Buy and be like, be so mean to him that they'd give him free stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. And I was like, man, being friends with him is great because he's, you know, like, like Gaston and the little uh, yeah, ugly yeah. dudes that were like his like minions. Yep. You know, I was like, yeah, get him, Cody. <laughs> 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 He's our man. You know, but I like, made, yeah, I think there's I made Cody rage it. quit gaming the other night. He I did. Felt yeah. Bad. yeah. How'd you do but that? That's funny. He just played the game. I just uh, attacked him in the game. Uh-oh. Nick did nothing wrong at all. He just played the game. <laughs> Mm. And Cody got butt hurt. I wonder if Cody's going to watch this. We made him mad that one time, I remember. I, I, I told him this to his face, on, I mean, to his ear on game night. So this isn't new, new news. Uh, how said, do you, what's the best way to deal with a rage quitter? Well, I apologize because he was solo. Like, we, there was teams, and like, he yeah. was the only one by himself. And I was like, ooh, I forgot about that. Yeah. But I was just like, anybody, any weak yeah, target being, I saw. What game was this? It GTA. is a GTA. The goal is to hit the other cars into the abyss. And yeah. so... Uh, okay. If he, was, enough- he was parked on the abyss at the edge of the timer, and I was just like, "Well, that guy's gonna die." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have found a different parking <laughs> spot. He, he's like, "I'm out, guys. I'm yeah. not playing games anymore." He's like, tonight. "Well, I'm done." It was late, he, but yeah, it was late. He got off, and then he got back on. So it was kind of like that. I mean, this might be uh, kind of mean, but it's all in it's all in good. Whatever. It's kind of like that move to where it's like, "Hey, I'm gonna be mad and leave, hoping somebody chases me." Mm. It's, that's how I saw it. Dude, I used to do that shit. Do you remember that? When uh, I was a kid, I remember leaving a birthday party of my own when I had a car. I was like, I wonder if anyone gives a shit if I'm even here. I just left. <laughs> <laughs> really? I was, was I really there? looking for some attention back then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't... I don't know. I had issues. But I, yeah, I left my own party, like wondering if anyone would know. Cody came back and everything was fine. Yeah. But seriously, Nick just was just playing the game. I think that kind of uh, attitude is definitely like circumvented by being, instead of being a here I am person, like, look at me, listen to me, here's my idea, be there you are, like, be the person who notices other people. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Like, you will be infinitely a friend to everyone sure. if you oh, can yeah, do that. Oh, yeah, no, I, yeah, definitely. I, I, I think that's great. Unless that person does it a little bit too much. Right. The yeah. there you are? No, 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 not that. The other the side. Opposite. Like, you keep leaving at like every party. You oh, no, 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 no. I think that the leaving the party thing is asinine. Okay, yeah. well, what, what were you talking about? I'm saying the exact opposite. I'm saying Notice the way that you more. always have attention drawn to yourself in a way that's positive and helpful to everyone else is by recognizing other people. They will always find a way to recognize you or, or oh, feel that you are a valuable person if you're the kind of person who says, hey, how was your day? Mm-hmm. Right. If yeah. you're always the one asking the questions, man, you're going to have so many friends yep. that you can't. you don't have time to hang out with them all. Yep. You know. That's good. I think Nick has to yeah, leave. I've got a heart out right oh, now. But yep. You got a heart out? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to keep going, that's cool, but I do have to go. Well, it's been right, an hour. Well, I think it's a good stopping point. This has been yeah. another episode, episode 28, and we're going to see Burt Kreischer on Friday. Oh. We'll see if the unachievable dream happens or not. Yeah, I'll be ready. So I'll be ready. Get ready I'll have the microphones. Get ready to... to Probably just hear me go. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we didn't see him once. We didn't see him on once. stage. No opportunity to even yeah. say a word to him. But it's all right. We'll be looking for it. Well, I'll grab the keg. Nice. If it happens. Nice. nice. All okay. right. See ya.